Antibiotics are a class of medications that either kill bacteria or stop them from multiplying and making copies of themselves. So either way, they help treat bacterial infections. It's important to use antibiotics when we know that we're dealing with a bacterial infection. So for example, strep throat, we know that that's caused by a particular kind of bacteria. Most of the time when people are sick, they have a viral infection. And many people will think that they have a bacterial infection and will ask for an antibiotic, but in fact, that's not the appropriate treatment for that kind of infection. So my strongest recommendation to patients and parents is to listen to your healthcare provider, whoever it is, your dentist, your physician assistant, nurse practitioner, physician. And if they feel after doing an examination and, and listening to your story that you do not have a bacterial infection, please do not pressure them to give you an antibiotic prescription. When people have a viral infection, sadly, there's not much to do other than to rest, drink fluids. As a parent, when you have a sick child, it's really tough because you want to do something for your child. And honestly, the best thing is to give them lots of tender, loving care and give them some comforting medications that are over the counter just to help take care of the symptoms that we're suffering from. But antibiotics won't help in those cases. There are risks with taking virtually any kind of medication, but we are really careful about antibiotics because they can cause things like diarrhea, rashes, really significant allergic reactions. So when we prescribe one, we wanna make sure that we're treating something that really requires an antibiotic. One of the biggest concerns we have with prescribing antibiotics is causing something called antibiotic resistance. And this comes about when we use an antibiotic to treat an infection or what we think is an infection. It kills off a number of bacteria, but then there's a certain number of bacteria that are left that have either some inherent resistance already or they create it. And now those bacteria are left behind and are multiplying. And then it becomes much more difficult to treat them with simple antibiotics going forward. It's not us that's resistant, it's the bacteria that's resistant. And we can spread that to others. And that's really where the problem comes in. There are a number of things that we can do to try and prevent infection. Getting immunizations, getting plenty of sleep, taking care of ourselves, not smoking, trying to eat properly. These are all things that help boost our immune systems. And unfortunately, many of us are so busy and are stressed and we can't take care of ourselves the way that we could or should to try and prevent infection. If people have leftover antibiotics or other medications that they want to get rid of, we recommend that they do not flush it down the toilet, that they don't put it down the sink, that they don't throw it away in the garbage can, but instead find a place that has a take back box and many police stations and pharmacies will have them and these are easy to find online. Antibiotics are not used in just humans, they're used in animals as well. And in Minnesota, professionals in human health, animal health, and environmental health are all coming together. And we're realizing that it's important to address all of this because we're all in this together. And if we take care of the earth and our animals and our people and are really aware of antibiotic stewardship, we can really make a difference.